All right, it's finally here. Today is finally the day. It is my moving vlog. I just woke up, I slept in a little bit because uh, I have the whole day off of work. I could have moved in like yesterday morning, but I decided uh, I'm gonna try to do it today. It'll be so much easier, I got the whole day. So, good morning to a new life in a new place. This is gonna be slightly vlog-like. I haven't done my workouts in several days because I've been uh, prepping, you know, there's all my <laughs> stuff. And so I'm gonna skip it today as well, to be honest. So I have the apartment already. I have the keys, the uh, utilities are set up. What I need to do yet is I didn't wanna wait for my internet provider to ship me a modem. So I went and bought my own, but then it turns out I, there's, a, there's a better one on the other side of town. So I'm gonna go return the one I bought yesterday, go buy a new modem. Then I'm gonna take that modem and my absolute piece of junk laptop it would now hold on back in 2011 when i custom made this thing from like all the drop down options on the dell website ooh, very near top of the line amazing computer uh now it's 2021 it's 10 years old it barely runs like minecraft super flat or even just a like a google search it's <laughs> it is used and abused the point is i i just can't seem to part with it because there's so many memories in that thing and as someone who's really into tech it's actually kind of useful because what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the new modem and my router and i'm going and the laptop and I'm gonna go over to the new apartment and make sure the internet is actually set up and working already before I start tearing down my studio setup here because I really don't wanna tear all of this down and then set it up there and then it, the internet doesn't work and then I miss a day of uploads or several days of uploads because the internet isn't working for whatever reason. So we're gonna test it first. Then I gotta do some laundry because last night I still slept here at the old place and so now I can wash my bed sheets and all my laundry and everything will be clean and I can pack it in with all my other stuff instead of having to keep the dirty laundry separate from the, all the clean things as I'm moving that would just take up too much space and dishes too I'm gonna wash up my last dishes everything will be clean everything can just get shoved in these containers together and it's also worth mentioning that over the course of 2020 I did a lot of cleaning and organizing and donating old stuff because in late 2019 and very very early 2020 I had decided I wanted to move cross-country to go to a different state to go west, south, point is somewhere warmer. Uh, that didn't happen. I, I'm moving like a mile and a half across town. I'm still in Wisconsin. It's still going to be cold. But I've got a good job here with people I like to work with. And so I, I think it's worth sticking around at least for another year. Hopefully, yeah, COVID will go away. But the reason I bring this up is because I spent the majority of my free time, this extra free time from the social isolating uh, th during 2020, organizing all of my stuff because I wanted everything I own to fit in my van and I would just make one trip cross country. I wouldn't have to hire a moving company or a truck or whatever and I could do it all myself. And I basically sorted everything I own into two categories. Things that I care about that I actually want to bring with me and things that I didn't really care about or I did care about but I just didn't have any way of bringing it with me and so I was gonna leave it behind at my parents' place. And so even though I'm only going like a mile and a half, I'm going across town, not across the world, <laughs> I still wanna bring everything over there in one trip exactly the same way as I would have if I was going cross country just for the sake of being able to say that I did it and then all that other miscellaneous stuff that I would not have been able to bring with me I'll go back and get that stuff later whenever I got time hopefully later today but I don't know so yeah I'm gonna go eat some breakfast uh, dig the laptop out of the garage <laughs> yes I stored in the garage just I know it's not good for it find a coax cable so that I can hook up the modem go return the modem and buy the better one and then I'll see you at the new place to test the internet so here is the tech box my cable box uh, why are there shoes in my cable box let's see if I can uh, manage to dig up some coax cables in here. Who knows, maybe they're in my parents' basement in their cable bin, which is much smaller than mine. I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I got a pretty big cable bin. <laughs> I feel like that would be a really creepy way for a tech guy to hit on a girl and be like, hey, 
Welcome back to my place, see my big giant cable bin. Hey, there we go. I found them. So I've been thinking about this. Now, with HDMI, there's different types of HDMI, but that's with the port itself. You can have HDMI 1, I think there's like 1.2, maybe a 1.3, I don't think there's a 2.0. Regardless, the, the port is what's different. The cable itself is the same. HDMI cables are HDMI cables. But when it comes to like Ethernet cables, there's Cat 5e, there's Cat 6. Apparently there's a Cat 8 now, I didn't know about this. Is there different types of coax? This is ancient coax. This is like bunny ears era stuff. So I don't even know if this is gonna work, but it's all I got. <laughs> oh wait, do I, do I need a, an ethernet cable? Do I have one in my laptop case? In my briefcase. I should have one in here. Ah, I don't. Good thing I thought about that too. <laughs> All right, I'm being silly. Oh yeah, you can see my toilet. Wow, settings. Whoopsies, I bumped the buttons. Here we are. <laughs> I got a lot of cleaning to do. Just to make sure everything's sanitary. But first things first. First things first. Shit. <laughs> But first things first, oh, okay. internet. This thing has actually uh, zapped me before. <laughs> Let's see if this thing will boot up. There is visible condensation on the screen. Also, it has to have the, the power brick plugged in. It, the battery literally lasts for less than a second. <laughs> a good old reliable. <laughs> You got it. You, you can do this. Come on, I believe in you. Can you see that? Oh, wait. Oh, what's the password? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh... Nope. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, there we go. <laughs> it was quite a surprise when I discovered that the brand is, <laughs> is Surfboard. I had called all my local stores and asked, like, what do you have for modems? And then I was gonna write all the model numbers down and go online and, like, figure out which ones are the best. And I had never heard of this Aris surfboard stuff before. Initial impressions were like, what, is, what on earth is that garbage? That sounds like the most knockoff I've ever heard of. But then I go online and every every source is saying like that is the brand, so I'm like, eh, sure, okay. I'll just have to take their word for it. I thought that was kind of hilarious that I just never thought about modems before, I guess. It's just kind of always been there. The ISP always supplied it. Oh, so this is a little trick I do with all of my electronics. Electronics come with the best zip ties. Hold on. So I always put the zip ties at the end of everything that I own because they're just like really nice high quality zip ties and that makes everything so, so much easier when I have to move my computer setup and not just like from apartment to apartment but like if I wanna bring it to a friend's house for a LAN party or something, then anytime I wanna pack anything up, all the zip ties, I've been saying zip ties this whole time. Sorry, twist ties. Yeah, anytime I wanna pack things up, the twist ties are always right there. So all of my cables have uh, twist ties on them already, which makes everything very convenient. Get this ancient coax, and then I have to call my ISP and give them the MAC address of this modem in order for them to activate it, I guess. Oh no, is this the wrong type of coax? It doesn't like wanna go in. I don't wanna force it and, and damage it. I'm gonna have to call my ISP and ask. Cause I don't want to just force something where it doesn't belong. Welcome to Spectrum Business. No, I don't want Spectrum Business. Call Spectrum Residential. Sorry, who do you want to call? God. I know it's not a contact, just call them. There are a few choices. There Tap we go. Tap the one you want. There we go. What? You just hung up on me. Call Spectrum Customer Support. Welcome to Spectrum. There we now go. Now offering Spectrum Mobile. This call may be monitored or recorded. I know. I'm I'm monitoring and recording it. Or say I'm moving. I'm move moving. After your call, you may receive an opportunity to provide feedback on the support we provided you today. We would greatly appreciate your response. As I greatly appreciate your comments. Pay your bill. 
and manage your account. Interested in the iPhone 12? No. Yeah, I hear a lot of background noise for you as well. I'm in a call center though. All right, I'm gonna help you. I called yesterday to get internet uh, activated for my new apartment. I was getting my own modem, and he said I just gotta call you guys back and give you the MAC address in order for it to work. All right, go ahead and give me that MAC ID. Okay. And then I also have a question about coax cables. Okay. So, are are there different types of coax? Yeah, I believe so. Okay, because I have one here, but it doesn't seem to fit, and I didn't want to force it. On the side of the cable, it says C... Oh, the, oh, the point, even when the screw's in? Yes. Yeah, no, they're all same size. Oh, okay. I did. I figured it was hopefully just because it was a brand new modem that it was kind of tight, but I didn't want to force it just in case. Yeah, it'll, it'll be tight. All right, otherwise, they're all the same then. Yeah. And then I have a laptop here to test it out. Do you mind if I do that real quick while you're still on the phone? Yeah, my computer is being really weird, so it's not working right now. So I'll I'll test it out. If it doesn't work, I'll call back. But otherwise, thank you. All right, yeah, you should be all set to go. I got it activated. It might just take a minute. All right, thank you very much. Have a good day. All right, you're welcome. You have a good night. Have a good day. Yeah. So <laughs> I've got I've got that plugged in down there. That's my that's my old router. I don't like that one. Uh, it wasn't working a while ago. I don't know if it's gonna work now, to be honest. And I also forgot, I should have grabbed a second ca uh, ethernet cable to go from the router to the laptop, just in case the Wi-Fi doesn't work on this router. <laughs> um, but, oh well. So let's uh, try this again. You can see, um, oh, why does that look purple? <laughs> this, is, this is like a, a very light blue for me. The little icon wasn't showing up down there before, so, oh home, it exists. Let's see if I can remember the password. All right, this is promising. I really should just do like a screen record, but I don't have that program loaded on this computer yet, which means I need to go to... Do I not have Firefox installed? I only have Internet Explorer and Edge. The last time I used this computer, I like reset it back to factory defaults, reinstall the operating system and everything to like have a fresh clean slate because I was gonna get rid of it. So yeah, it looks like I, I still have Microsoft Edge on here. <laughs> Anyways, let's see if this works. All right, let's try just google.com. Oh no. I don't remember what was wrong with this router. All I know is I bought a new one because it, this one wasn't doing what it was supposed to be doing. I also am not sure about this. I think I can plug my laptop directly to, oh, even my phone failed to connect to the network. I think I can plug the laptop directly into the ethernet to the modem and skip the router entirely. I'm gonna try that. So I had to move my laptop to a different outlet, which means I had to shut it down and now plug it in and boot it back up. But let's try removing the router from the equation entirely. Um, why am I so dark? <laughs> Ooh, hacker man. All right, well, I was really hoping I wouldn't have to do this, but now I'm gonna have to go back to my old place, grab the new router, and see if I can get to work like that. Hopefully it's not something wrong with the laptop. It's a good thing it's only like a mile away. All right, it's been a few minutes. I'm back with the new router. Right there, over here. I mean, it's not new. I've had this one for a while, but it's newer. It's the one I've been using. Uh, ever since I replaced that one. I didn't bother bringing the camera with me to film that because I'm being lazy. But here we are on the floor again. All right, I also brought another ethernet cable. The other hope is maybe it just took a little time for it to activate and start working. So it should hopefully maybe work now. Okay, it's connected, but no internet access. So just, well, it's still connecting. Am I filming? <laughs> I do that like probably like 10 times for every video I'm recording. I'm just like, am I filming? Oh, okay. <laughs> I usually cut it out of the videos, but I think I'll leave that one in because it's, it's constant. I do that all the time. <laughs> uh, it's being slow. Oh, connected, but no internet access. Let's just try Google. It says it's not working. Next thing I'm gonna try just for the heck of it, even though this probably won't make any difference at all, is to go wired from the router to the laptop. 
Ah, uh, it's not working. Can I like restart the modem? And there's also several of these coax jacks all over the place. There's one over on that wall and that wall on the other side of this wall and then the next wall over there. So I can put the modem wherever I want, I think. Why am I so dark? Please enlighten me. Ah, that's better. So theoretically, I can put the modem wherever I want, but I wonder if maybe I might have to tell my internet provider which one I'm plugging it into. I doubt I'd have to tell them that. It's so echoey in here. Echo! That shouldn't make a difference, right? I should be able to just plug it into anyone I want and move it around whenever I want. Plug it back in, see what happens. You know what, BTS, here you go. Look at that mess of the cables. Look at that mess of cable. Look at that a mess of <laughs> Look at those words that I can't say. All right, try it again. Oh, that kind of sort of maybe did something, but didn't load Google. Oh, come on. Uh, let's run the Windows Network Diagnostics, see what that says. Yeah, even Windows agrees that it's the modem. And I just bought this one less than an hour ago. Oh my god, I just got the joke now. I, I just got it. Surfboard. <laughs> For surfing the internet. I just got it now. Uh, I just realized why I'm blue. The colors were all wrong because I forgot to set the white balance to auto. In order to get myself to not be like a deep orange in my previous place, I had to lock down the white balance. Ah, that's much better. Now it's on auto white balance. Whoopsies. So the lights are still flashing though. It uh, it hasn't corrected itself yet. So I'm just gonna unplug it one more time and wait and then plug it back in one more time and see if it'll actually connect. Oh, that looks so much better. <laughs> All right, so this time I waited much longer and the lights are green, meaning it should be working, but this is still giving me a little exclamation, yellow point thing in the triangle, which is implying that it's not working, and it is indeed not working. All right, well, I guess I'm calling my ISP again. Internet service provider for those who are unaware of that acronym. <sighs> I wish I was recording that because it literally just asked me, if you'd like to act- You've already connected your new internet modem. According to the instructions in your self-install kit, press one. Great, one moment while I send the activation signal. Bruh, that's what I thought we already did when I was on the phone with them before. Okay, I sent you the activation signal. In most cases, your equipment will activate within 10 minutes. You can refresh your internet browser to confirm your connection. If the delay is longer than 10 minutes, turn the equipment off and back on to restart the connection. After that, if you continue to have any problems, just call back. To hear that again, press 1. Cool. Yeah, so it, it right before I hit record, it said, uh, if you would like to activate your self-install kit, press 1. Bruh, that's literally what he was supposed to do before. That was the whole point of me calling him before. Um, nah, it's still not working. <laughs> Can you see that? Uh, yeah, it's, um, I'll, I'll give it five, ten more. I'll give it 20 minutes. I'll, I'll go on YouTube on my phone while I wait. From mobile, this call may be monitored or recorded. Is this about the self-install? Would you like to activate your equipment now? One moment while I pull up your information. This is 20 minutes later. I already did this. I already did. Have you already connected your new internet modem according to the instructions in your self-install kit? Yes. Great. One moment while I send the activation signal. It already did 20 minutes ago. Okay. I sent you the activation signal. In most cases, if you continue to have any problems, just call back. I want to speak with a person. Okay. Video on demand. I'll connect you with the representative who can help you with that. Don't. One moment, please. That's not, what I, that's not what I said. No. Are you calling about the account associated with 920? Yes. Zero? Residential. Yeah. I think you said, I'm not sure. Is that right? No, I said residential. Sorry. I think you said, I'm not sure. No. Is that my mistake? I see that you recently called regarding an issue with your cable TV service. Is that why you're calling back? No. In a few words, please tell me what you're calling about. Internet. Issues with your internet service. One moment, please tell me what you'd like help with. Cable TV, internet, or phone. 
internet. If you're having internet. I only have Thanks. internet. I'm not seeing an internet outage in your area. Is this about the self-install kit for your new internet modem? No. It is, but... Please tell me what you need help with. Internet. Internet. No internet connection at all. like four times now that I've tried to activate this modem and it's not, uh, something's not going right. Okay, now I am seeing that it came online for about 40 minutes, 12.18 to 12.57 it was online. Did you move it to a different coaxial outlet? Nope. Uh, it looks like it's resetting right now. It keeps kind of cycling through where it'll, all the lights will go off and then it'll blink one at a time as they reconnect, but I haven't been able to load anything. Yeah, because the lights on the modem looks like it should be working, but then when I go to load something on my computer, it doesn't work. Okay, so what about the router? You have a customer on router as well, correct? Yes, and that that seems to be working too. I've reset that as well. I also wonder if it would be worth double checking uh, to make sure you guys got the MAC ID correct. I'll repeat it to you. So it's. Yep. The lights are blinking, and now they're all on. There we go. Okay, yeah, I want you to go ahead and plug the router back in now. Okay, so now I got to what I had before, where it says I'm connected, but there's no internet access. Yeah, the modem just disconnected again. That's really weird, because, yeah, on my end, it still looks fine with the lights. Okay, so that quad cable in the back of the modem, it is finger tight, correct? Both into the wall and into the modem? Yes. So now it looks like the modem just turned off. Yeah. There's something definitely going on with the motor. Let me go ahead and schedule as a technician because it keeps popping in on the signal going back out. And that power cord isn't hanging, or like the, the plug inside of the outlet isn't like hanging out of it, or anything like that. Not as far as I can tell. Literally sitting here waiting to see if it'll pop back online and it just shut off. Okay, let me go ahead and schedule as a tech one second. When you say schedule a technician, is that something that we could do today, or are you saying like, for later. Well, that's what I'll have to see. So okay. I don't know. Until I go in to schedule it and, okay. and, and just pop back online. So, just pop back online. So I just bought this one brand new this morning. Do you think maybe mm -hmm. it's it might be defective in some way and I could just try exchanging it? Yeah, definitely. If, if that's, um, yeah, because it just went back offline again. It just popped back online for a minute and went offline. Yeah, okay. it, could, it could be the modem. The way it's looking, it looks like the modem's giving us issues. It may be a defective modem. Uh, you could definitely swap it out, but I still want to locate. I, I still want to schedule it just in case. That way, if it doesn't, if the swap out doesn't work for you, uh, we'll still be able to have that time frame scheduled. You have to call back and then schedule another one, and possibly get a later time frame. Okay. Yeah, just go ahead and take that modem up there, swap it out. That was happening faulty, and we'll see if that'll fix the issue for us. Right? All right. Yeah. So then I'll call back and give you guys the new MAC address and try that. Yes, sir. Alrighty. Well, thank you. Alrighty, second. No worries. Thanks for calling Spectrum. You have a great day. You too. Alright. That's frustrating. So I was just recording for at least like 20 minutes, but I bumped the info button on my camera so like the screen wasn't displaying what it normally shows, so I don't even know if it filmed any of that. Basically, we think it's a defective modem, so I'm gonna go exchange it for another one. So also, I'm getting hungry. This is taking way longer than it should have. So I'm gonna go exchange the router, modem, go eat, and come back. So it's several hours later. I just snacked on a bunch of Cheerios and I am just incredibly frustrated and annoyed. And I had to do a lot of driving back and forth and back and forth. And I just stopped filming any of it because I was just too tired. I was just too hungry and annoyed and frustrated to bother with the camera. Yay. So yeah, today has been frustrating for many reasons, but I think honestly the most frustrating part of the day has just been my lack of filming, my lack of filmmaker skill building. For example, the sun. I was just thinking that could have been a great like arc throughout the video, because every time I would leave 
my apartment to like go return the old router, go buy the new router, go exchange the new router, go grab more cables. Every time I look up and the sun is just like a little bit further across the sky and now it's like, it's almost, it's almost setting pretty soon. I think about this, these kind of tiny details all the time, uh, constantly throughout my own day of like, if I were filming this, how could I make this more like cinematic, I guess. That's one of those things. I could have done that. I could have shown you. Ta-da, so pretty. That actually does look really nice. Wait, why am I having my blinker on? I'm going straight. Good thing there's no one behind me. So I'm not confusing them. <sighs> Hold up. Okay, wait. Why, why, why are we at the old studio? Why are we not at the new apartment? Well, all right. So today was a disaster. For oh, and now the color's wrong. That's a little bit better. <sighs> Whatever. I just, I just, I just want the internet to work. I just, I want to move. I was supposed to move on the first. Today is the third. I, I'm gonna have to figure this out tomorrow because the internet's still not working. I cannot move until the internet works because I have not had time to prep a ton of videos in advance just in case. We determined that the modem was probably defective. So I went and exchanged the modem. So this is my second time at Target today. Back to the apartment, third time back to the apartment today. Tried the new modem. That one didn't work either. Then they told me I didn't accept the terms and conditions yet. Okay, no problem. So just send me the terms and conditions. And this is where the real frustration begins. Okay, so they send me the terms and conditions, but I didn't get the email. So they sent it like three, four times. I still didn't get the email. Then they sent it through text like four times, five times. I didn't get the text. Now this is weird because I had enough phone signal to call them, but apparently I couldn't receive their texts. And I had enough phone signal, like data signal to go to websites on my phone, watch YouTube on my phone. But when I would try to pull down to refresh on Gmail, it would tell me that there's no connection. Okay, well, also then it turned out they got my email address wrong. I have an Irish last name, O'Hearn. When the Irish people came over to America, O'Hearn, actually, I think originally it was like this really long Irish or Gaelic phrase that meant messenger of the Lord is O'Hearn, or whatever. <laughs> and different people with that last name shortened it in different ways. So that's how we got O'Hearn, A'Hearn, O'Hearn, O-H-E-A-R-N, mine is O-H-E-R-N. And actually it's capital O apostrophe capital H-E-R-N, lowercase e-r-n. But a lot of computer systems don't like the apostrophe, so I never bother to mention it, even though I really should because it's like uh, preserving my heritage or whatever. And I am proud to be Irish, obviously, but uh, and I am proud to be Irish. But yeah, no, it, 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 the apostrophe is just not uh, practical in the modern world. But I know that I spelled out my last name multiple times to make sure they got it right. And they spelled it out loud back to me to make sure they got it right. <sighs> they still typed it in wrong. So the email address was wrong. The name was wrong on the account. And they said, oh, no problem, we'll fix that. So they changed it on the email. Turns out they didn't change it on the name. My arm is getting tired. I keep switching arms because I left the tripod at the new apartment. Okay, so I don't have enough signal. So I decided to drive to Target and use their public Wi-Fi to get the email. Finally, I get the email and she says, okay, then we're all good. Just accept the terms and conditions. Have a great day. We end the call. I open up the email and it's the terms and conditions for phone service. I am not getting phone service. I'm getting internet service. So I call back again. This is now my fourth person today, I think. Yes, fourth person that I've spoken to. They send me the correct terms and conditions, and then I can agree to those. And then he puts in an order to change my name, which takes like three days apparently, and has to get verified in various ways, even though it's literally just one letter. And so I'm like, okay. It's all good. I've accepted the terms and conditions. I can go back to the apartment and now it'll work fine. <sighs> Wrong. Just plain doesn't work. And then I think I filmed briefly showing uh, my screen where I showed like the network path. And I was thinking, well, according to their end, everything works fine between them and the modem. And the problem is between the modem and me and my computer. But according to the map that my like network manager or whatever it's called showed, uh, everything's fine up until like a, a connection between the ISP and uh, I forget what it is, the thing that was right before the network switch, which has something to do with the apartments, I'm assuming. 
But then if you look at like the bottom right corner of the screen, it gives like the little explanation point and says no internet service. So then I got thinking, well, I haven't paid my first month's rent yet. Maybe my landlord is cutting me off? That would be really weird though, because the only way to pay for my rent is online. So if I hadn't paid my rent, it would make no sense for him to cut off my internet access, because how else am I supposed to pay for the rent in order to get the internet access? I was like, well, uh, maybe, because it's the first month's rent. Maybe there's just something weird going on. So I drive back to, oh wait, no, hold on. Before this, I drove back to the my old place here to dig out more coax cables and I thought maybe it's a bad coax cable. I tried swapping different cables, I tried swapping different ethernet cables, I tried plugging it in in different areas of the room because there's multiple coax jacks on multiple walls where you can put the modem kind of wherever you want. Nothing works, nothing works. That was a trip back here and then back there again to test out different cables. Well now it's back here again because I need to pay my rent. Except I forgot the router, so now it's back to the new place again to pick up the new router, bring it back to the old place so that I can pay my rent on my computer because I got an email telling me that how much I owe for my first month's rent. And I was like, okay, so I'll just go online and pay that. But when I go on the website, it tells me I don't owe them anything at all. <laughs> so I decided to just go ahead and pay them the, however much the email told me. And it tells me that it is like a credit on the account. So whenever they decide to put the bill bill through to tell me that I owe them, then that'll just automatically pay for it immediately, theoretically. I don't understand. I've tried everything. I've tried different devices. I've tried different cables. I've tried different routers. I've tried different modems. I've tried calling them. The only thing I have left I can think to do would be to call my landlord and see if he needs to do something. So it was incredibly frustrating and I decided, well, there's nothing else I can do. The plan for today is I was going to go over there, activate the internet, and it was supposed to take like maybe 30, 40 minutes tops. And then I was going to come back here, grab my laundry, my bed, and all that stuff, and go to my parents' place to do laundry because I don't have a way of doing laundry here. And wash all of that because then I can pack it in with all of my other stuff and pack up my computer and then bring it all over there. Well, obviously I'm not going to pack up my computer or generally anything else, but what I can do today is I went and did all my laundry, and then I went back to the apartment again to check if the internet's working. It's still not working. Then I grabbed my camera. I've come now back to the old place where I'm going to edit this video and upload it for tonight night and then I'm going to bring my bed to the new place and I'm going to sleep there. I'm gonna bring nothing else, just my bed and I guess my phone and my phone charger. And then I don't work until noon tomorrow, so I got all morning to call the landlord and, and try to figure this out. Wish me luck. There is no conflict resolution or whatever that like part of the story. So if you would like to have the concluding, closing good feelings when I finally figure this thing out, then subscribe and stay tuned for the next video, hopefully tomorrow, because man, I wanted to be moved in two days ago. This is just so annoying. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you got a laugh out of my misery, and uh, take care.